Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I am bringing you uh, your weekly love read. This is going to be February 13th through the 19th. I am bringing out four different videos this week. Sorry, my lighting seems a bit off. I'm bringing four different videos out this week and they are going to be based off the elements. So I'm doing fire, air, water, and earth. This is the air sign read, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Timestamps are below if you want to go straight to your zodiac sign. I'm having some technical difficulties with my eyeballs today and my nose and everything else. I'm falling apart. Sorry, I, di I digress. Um, so we're doing the, the weekly love read. This is what's coming towards you in love. I'll be um, pulling some tarot cards using the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck and then two decks from Divine Moon Empress, Love Letters Speaking Our Truth and Lyrics of the Heart. Um, what's coming towards you in love. Type that. This is a general read, so take what resonates. If you feel like this is not your read, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. If you're not clear to as to what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that'll get you that information. There's also a link in the description box below that'll get you to my personal webpage. If you're interested in a personal read, I think that's it, guys. Let's get into it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. This is for Gemini. Gemini's, what do you have coming towards you in love? Well, look at you showing up in your own read. The Lover's card. Page of Swords. The Star card. Wow. The King, or the Knight of Pentacles, pardon me. And Temperance. Wow. All right, guys. This is good, Geminis. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Underneath that, the Hermit. Um, which is good because the Five of Cups is kind of being like apathetic, watching everything you have slip away, feeling kind of depressed. Um, and then the Hermit card is kind of solitude, kind of energy, pulling yourself in solitude, but growing, learning, and healing. So I feel like um, perhaps you are coming out of a situation in which you kind of feel like you lost all the things that you wanted. They weren't coming to you or every time you almost had them, they slipped through your fingers. It's kind of this feeling of like apathy. I think this um, reading is good. This is going to be great because it's telling you, be patient. The temperance card is here. Um, this is Sagittarius energy too. You guys have three major arcanas in your five cards, which is pretty big. Um, the temperance card is here is saying, be patient. Get your life balanced. Things will come into balance. Things will come into balance in perfect time. But be patient. This is going to be a slow and steady process. The Knight of the Pentacle, the Knight of Pentacles, is the slowest knight in the deck. As slow and steady wins the race. This is not something that's going to rush forward. This is not something that's going to take off quickly. It's going to take time and patience, which I think is good because you're in this energy now, right? So you don't want to go straight from here to like. This is the best, most wonderful thing in my life. And then uh, it just fall flat. So I do feel like you have someone watching you on social media with this page of swords. This person is kind of keeping tabs on you. I feel like it's someone you may know um, to some degree. Someone that's been in your life in some form or fashion that might have social media access to you. I feel like they're getting information from what you're posting. I feel like they're getting information from people you may know. Um, but not coming to you directly. So they're not like asking you specific questions, Gemini, but they're, they're gathering information and seeking information about you from other people or from like other sources, namely social media. This person is going to be your wish fulfillment. This person is going to make you so happy. This person is exactly who you've been waiting for. The lover's card is true love, marriage, soulmate energy. If you just look at the intensity in this connection, it's like intense and heavy and it's it's love it's lust it's passion it's a soulmate energy and again the star card is a wish fulfillment so this person's coming in as your wish fulfillment this is everything you wanted this is this is what you wanted in love and it's coming it's just taking slow 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 it's taking its time all right we're gonna get the soul reflection love oracles card nope we're gonna get the soul reflections Love Oracle card. We're going to get two of them. Let go. Release and let go. Which I think, true freaking love. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So release and let go, guys. Which is kind of like get out of this energy and heal, right? Do your healing. Let go of whatever's making you feel like you missed out. True love, mutual loyalty. True love. On there twice. 
coming. And then we have Cupid, Love Struck with Cupid's Arrow. Oh, and under that, Worth the Weight, which is interestingly kind of like... All right. Oh, my gosh. I told the other video I had to get like on the floor and underneath the futon that's in the corner of my basement. Oh my gosh, because my dog's ball went under there and now my nose and is just itching. I think because it's dusty. It's dusty under the corner of my futon. I need to <laughs> vacuum. But now my nose is itching terribly. Let's get some love letters speaking our truth. This is Divine Moon Empress for Gemini. A love like ours happens once in a lifetime. Absolutely. Being vulnerable scares me. So yeah, so maybe that's part of the um, the slowness is the, the need to be vulnerable. Um, and that's going to take some time. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Let me just itch my nose a little bit while I cover it up with the cards. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Yes, being vulnerable might be part of the slowdown in the situation between the two of you. But this is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime kind of love. We're going to use the Divine Emperor, Divine Moon Empress. I'm like, I feel like I need to start all these videos over and redo them, but I'm not going to. You get the real and uncut me, so I apologize if you don't like it. <laughs> um, Divine Moon Empress, Lyrics of the Heart. I want to know what love is by foreigner. In my life, there's been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face it again. I can't stop now. I've traveled so far to change this lonely life. You guys, yes, they're going to show you what love is. And it's going to be a love like this that only happens once in a lifetime, Geminis. This is going to be a phenomenal situation for you. I'm happy for you, Geminis. That's pretty freaking awesome. All right, so let's get these cards put back. And getting moving on to Libras. I promise you when I'm rubbing my nose there, I'm not getting like boogers all over my hand or anything. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a weirdo. But that's okay. <laughs> you get the uncut version of me, so here. <laughs> Alright, Libras, Libras, Libras. What's coming towards Libras in love? What's coming towards Libras in love? The Seven of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Oh, Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups. The Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. All right, Libras. So I definitely feel like um, something's going on, right? I feel like you are stuck in this energy or we're stuck. Where you are stuck. I feel like you might be stuck in this energy of sleepless nights, um, crying yourself to sleep, feeling super anxiety, feeling like uh, what you have is just wasting away. You're not happy. You're not getting what you want out of a situation. You're just crying yourself to sleep every night. Very kind of apathetic, sad, anxious, worried, unhappy kind of energy. I feel like you're sitting in. I feel like that's the case too because we also have the five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and this is like feeling like you've been left out in the cold. Perhaps you're having some financial hardships. Um, but what do I see coming towards you in love? I definitely see someone coming towards you with some messages. I don't have any um, cups of love here, but I do feel like there's going to be some communication coming your way with the eight of wands This is like rapid forward movement and the knight of swords is also similar like running towards something rushing towards something I think someone's going to be coming in quickly for you um, With lots of messages and it's going to be someone who has a, a really great sense of humor Someone who's intelligent someone that you hold a conversation very well with but someone's going to come in quick they're going to, it's like they're going to start a message and then it's going to be like, -do 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 -do, all these messages coming towards you. It's going to be fast and it's going to be direct. So this Knight of Sword energy is direct. He is, he or she is honest, great sense of humor, great communicator. And they're going to be telling you what they're thinking and feeling about you. I do continue to see you feeling like you need to keep yourself quite guarded. You see this Seven of Wands. There's this one wand that's getting in her bubble. Um, she's keeping herself kind of closed off. So I feel like this person's going to have to kind of persist to kind of stick 
with it to make sure that um, they don't give up on you super easy because you're not going to be completely open to this love situation. I do see one coming though. I do see one coming. So the Soul Reflections Love Oracle for Libras. Getting to know you. Yep, I feel like that's what your person's going to be doing with a lot of questions, a lot of messages. They're going to be kind of giving you like 101 questions and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, this so many messages, but uh, it's going to be a good thing. They're going to be getting to know you. I think the insecurity cards it's showing up, letting go of negative experiences of the past. I think this is your energy again. Um, and I feel like this person is going to kind of be persistent, like I said, and allow you to kind of stop feeling insecure about the situation. They're going to weather out the storm with you. And underneath that is overcome the odds. So um, I definitely see this progressing, but it's going to be... It's going to take, your person's going to have to be quite patient with you, I think, Libra. And like I said, roles can always be reversed, but um, I feel like this is mostly your person's energy coming towards you. All right, love letters, speaking our truth. This is Divine Moon Empress. You, oh, you guys get three, I get, oh, four, I guess, three. You have been in my dreams. I run because my emotions are too intense. And you can feel, I can feel you close to me. All right. We are going to get a Divine Moon Empress Lyrics of the Heart card. This has a song on it, a song lyric. Hello, Lionel Richie. <laughs> and the lyric that's been selected is, I've been alone with you inside my mind and in my dreams. I've kissed your lips a thousand times. You've been in my dreams. In my dreams, I've kissed your lips a thousand times. Hello, is it me you're looking for? <laughs> All right, guys, that concludes your reading, Libras. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my silly video of my silly self. Actually, I wasn't too silly in yours. Gemini's, I was a bit more myself, I guess. <laughs> my little silliness. But, um, all right. Let's get these cards shuffled back in and move on to Aquarius's. All right, Aquarius's, Aquarius's, Aquarius's. What's coming towards Aquarius's in love? Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Mm, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Devil, <laughs> Aquariuses, Aquariuses. Okay, um, all right, Aquariuses. So this is what we have, and then underneath we have a Strength card. Um, I think this situation is going to require some strength on your part. Um, definitely some strength and courage to kind of overcome some things uh the bottom of the deck energy itself was the devil energy but that paired with the eight of swords and the five of pentacles i definitely see this as a negative thought process i definitely see this as um, some kind of a obsessive thinking of feeling like you're left out in the cold and creating a sense of um reality that is not or a sense of self-sabotage that is is not reality so the eight of swords is my self-sabotage card this is where someone is feeling as if all these things are so terrible like in this card she feels blindfolded she feels bound um but you can see she's looking at herself in the mirror and she's not blindfolded or bound in real life it's all this self-sabotage it's all this negative thinking it's all this obsessive thinking that's just like kind of holding you hostage if you can see in the corner right here, this guy is like um, on strings with this devil is holding this guy. And his hands are kind of down. I mean, his head is kind of down in his hands. Similar kind of energy here, feeling like you've been left out in the cold. So I feel like you're in this energy of I've been left out in the cold. I'm never going to find my person. I'm never going to be with my person. I feel like you have a lot of negative self-talk happening frequently. But you're going to have strength and courage. And this is going to come to an end and you're going to have a soulmate true love and it's going to be the mother freaking empress and it's going to be a soulmate guy. So like 
all this very positive energy on the bottom of the deck. Those are all major arcana. So big things are shifting for you. Okay, yes, for sure. You're going to have a new stable start, a new clear situation. You're going to have clarity on a situation. I feel like on your situation, you're going to get clarity and realize like, okay, I need to get over this. I need to move forward. Um, you are going to be presented with a new opportunity. Um, the Ace of Wands is my magic stick card. Um, check out the song by 50 Cent and Lil' Kim if you don't know what this means. But this is good stuff in terms of a love read. This is passion. This is um, intimacy. This is uh, chemistry. This is probably intense sexual chemistry. And then we have the ten, pe ten of Pentacles, guys, which is amazing. This is true love. This is a blended family. This is a commitment. This is long-term stability. This is marriage. This is a house, a home, a family, kids, the dog. This is like what you want for sure in a love read. So I definitely see um, a true love or a, a stable, loving, committed, grounded, financially stable, emotionally stable situation coming towards you with a lot of freaking passion. I like it for you, Aquarius. I like it a lot. All right, let's get the Soul Reflections Love Oracle cards for you. Maybe the potential to happen is there. <laughs> I kind of think that's like that energy for you with um, that in that uh, overthinking. Like maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I think it definitely is. And then we have giving a gift. So perhaps someone will give you a gift to kind of start the situation. I mean, it's a it's somebody giving somebody flowers. So Valentine's Day is around the corner. Maybe you'll get a gift. I don't know. Um, love letters, speaking our truth from Divine Moon Empress. We got, I get lost in your eyes and I want to grow old with you. Yes, I feel like this is going to be a situation for you that's going to be long-term, committed, loyal, grounded. And the last card for this read, guys, is the Divine Moon Empress Lyrics of the Heart. It's an actual song lyric. And your song is Weak by SWV. I try hard to fight it. No way can I deny it. Your love so sweet. It knocks me off my feet. All right, guys. That is your read. Thank you so much for watching. Um, all you air signs, especially Aquarius that just finished up. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate your support, guys, and until next time, take care.